Hello and welcome to the 13th episode in this video series on natural language processing with Python. In this video we're going to take a look at regular expressions. You may have come across these in other applications when you're looking at text. However, they're popular and widely used in natural language processing and are a good set of tool or it's a good tool to have in your tool set in programming. And today we're going to take a look at some of the basics. We'll start with a practical example and then go a little bit into um, details and syntax within how to implement more and more functionality into our regular expressions. So what they, a quick summary of, of why, we, why we're even talking about it is that regular expressions allow us to filter information. So perhaps we want to search on a keyword or remove certain items from text. Well, that regular expressions can help us with that. So let's get into it. Uh, first, I imported Wikipedia as wiki. Um, I'm going to use Wikipedia summaries as uh, sample text. And the module that we're going to use for regular expressions is RE. Now, RE is built in, so it doesn't require like a third party download. All right. So first, I'm going to get a sample article. Let's go with smile. We'll look up smile on Wikipedia. So I'll call it sample equals wiki.summary and pass it the literal string of smile. That should work. All right. And we'll just print it out, see what we get. All right, so we get a few sentences here. Um, one one thing I want to note, and it's good to start thinking about, is like for example here, there's a a backslash n character, and what that is is a new line character, and a new line character is a special character that says we want to um, have a space in this paragraph in this context. So it's simply a new line. Now, if you were to evaluate sample which is our sample text with print go sample notice how Python processes that new line as that return so with regular expressions we're gonna want to look at the raw string which is closer to this where it has these special characters and there's ones for uh, tab for example is uh, backslash T All right, so that's one thing to keep in mind. And uh, those characters are there even though they're hidden, so to speak, in, in processed, uh, depending on what functions you're using. All right, so let's do a simple task of, uh, let's remove the punctuation from the sample text. In, in a previous video, I've, I've shown how you can do that by creating a reference list and comparing the current list that you're iterating through to that list and if the punctuation is there we just don't include it in a new list so that's a couple of steps and it requires a loop with regular expressions this is extremely simple and, and we'll look at that here so I'll go uh, sample and I'll call it no p for no punctuation and I'm gonna use re dot find all find all and here I'll stop and explain this so there's an R that we're using in front of the quotes which is going to be a regular expression what the R signifies is raw so it's raw it's we want to process a raw string so looking at this like for example the new line is there that's that's more of a raw string than this process data and that's just a good convention to have. I, I've seen in reference material that pretty much everyone says to use this, um, this convention. So I, I trust that. All right, so what we're gonna do is remove punctuation. And like the new line character where it has the bash, backslash n, uh, regular expressions have special characters. So I'm gonna use this one 
which is backslash W plus. And what this is saying is that we want to find all instances of word characters. And what a word character is, is letters A through Z, upper and lowercase, and numbers 0 through 9. And I believe the underscore is actually included within that. So that's what this symbol rec is representing. And that's a single instance of that. And what the plus allows us to do is looks for um, multiple occurrences. So let's return that. Oh, that's funny. So I made my regular expression and I didn't call out the text that we want to use that expression on. So that's going to be sample. Okay, so that took and let's see if put the, we'll put it to the test here. Okay. So notice now um, when we use re find all, we don't we no longer have punctuation and now we have a list. So it does split up the string into individual entries and we have all the words. All right, awesome. So that's a simple way to do it. Uh, it takes less lines of code than to actually manually check. Um, so the next thing we'll do is more relevant to searching. And we'll show a quick example of that. Uh, it's pretty neat. So I'm going to look up another article. Uh, let's look up bird. So I'm going to call it sample. And in Wikipedia, I'm going to search for the summary of bird. Oh, I didn't have a variable defined bird, so I, I messed up and didn't do a literal string. Okay, that's better. So how would we do that? We would do that by going re dot find all again find all and we're going to do r and then the literal so the raw we want to process raw text and now I'm going to put bird ah again I forgot the uh, I forgot the text so don't make that mistake like I did again okay so what this, we'll, we'll start with the, this simple case. So what I'm saying here is I want to look through and find all the instances of bird and sample. So perhaps if you want to get a word count, that's, that's one way you can do it. Now, that's not that interesting because there's other ways to do that. But let's say we want to see um, words like hummingbird. And I can type... Um, w, sorry, backslash W plus. So what we're saying here is I want uh, word characters, all the word characters to the left of bird. So if there's a, a the word bird and there's word characters before it, that's what it's going to find. And I have the string there, so I won't get that error. Okay, hummingbird, where's there? And there's seabird, waterbird, songbird. So that's pretty neat. If, if we didn't know, or if we wanted to get a, just a, a collection of types of birds that we could expect to learn about in this article, that would be a good way. Uh, let's see if there's any... Uh, addition, let's see if there's any uh, instances where bird is, is part of a word and there's letters after it. So what would we do there? We could go backslash, backslash again and go W+. Plus. So this is a good one. So we get, we see the base word bird and then we see S and we have bird watching okay so not that interesting but here we have bird watching so perhaps that's an activity that people do when they're watching birds
So what is another example of what we can do with uh, regular expressions? Let's say we want to find um, words that end with ed. So let's look for past tense words in sample. So there you go. So here's just a quick demonstration of regular expressions. We can search terms. Uh, we can take punctuation out so we can filter information. Now granted, this is just a high level, quick explanation, uh, very simple, but these regular expressions within the quotations can get very complicated. And we'll see in the next video how you can perhaps look at phone numbers or email addresses that's a pretty standard example and it's well worth knowing because we have to keep in mind that we have to be very specific when we are searching for something we have to know uh, generally speaking its format and or I guess we have the option to be very specific and we do need to have a general sense of what we're looking for um, and, and regular expressions can be a little tricky in that regard and we'll take a just a brief example just so you have that in your toolkit if you're sifting through and looking for information so thank you for watching this video I hope you learn more about regular expressions and stay tuned for more